Hi, so in this video, I'm going to show you about my um, ordered array using templates. And as you can see that I already created three different kinds of array, integer, float, and string. And I already populated them so that I save time later that I don't have to add them one by one. And I'm going to run my program first. Okay, so we're going to manage array. And we have three choice and three of them they have the same function. So I'm just gonna pick one which is in array to show you the function. And we're gonna go from the first one, change array size. So you can see now that the current array size is 10 and we can change the array size to bigger or smaller. Now I'm gonna change it to 20 array resize. And the array growth size, which is if the array is full and it's gonna resize it, how, how much it will resize, like how big it will resize. So I'm gonna change it like, uh, on default it's 10, so maybe I'll change it to 15. So if it's, if the array is full, it's gonna add on 15 and 15 and 15. So, yep, so grow size change to 15 and the third one is push element that you push the integer into the array and let's print out and see what's in the array first and then we can we can decide what to put in so we have 10 integers here so I'm gonna just pick between 8 and 12 that the number that we put in and shows that it actually pushes the integer in and sorted it. So I'm gonna push a number and then integer to add to array. So I'm gonna enter 10 and it should be in between 8 and 12. So let's see. And here, so 10 appears between them. And okay, so now it's remove element from array and enter the index. So um, the first index is 0, so I'm gonna try to remove 0 from the array. Element at index 0 is removed. Okay, so let's see here. 0 is removed. So, um, okay, sorry. And now we're gonna try pop, which pops the last element away, which is removing the last element from the array. So now the last element is 43. And we're gonna do pop this. And last element is removed. So the next one is binary search. There is two different search. It first is binary, um, which it goes, um, Oh, I will, I will, I will uh, explain it in when I'm going through my code. So I'm gonna just try binary search. This is the integer you wish to search in the index. So I just added 10. So let's see. 10. So the index of 10 is 4. And the time used to to go through the array and get the index is 3154027. Okay, and we'll find the same index, uh, find the same integer, and we'll see what's the difference in the time using the linear search. So number 10. Yep, it's working. And it, it used the same time. And it's supposed to, uh, binary is supposed to be faster in a larger array. But because both of them are in such a small size, so it actually doesn't make much difference. And eight, we seen it already. Nine, we cleared the array. Array cleared. So now I try to print the array again. The array is empty. So okay. So now when the array is empty, I'm gonna load the file, load the um, array from a text file. So it can. Enter file name to load from and it's unordered. Okay. Uh, okay. 
then okay just now i had some problem with my code which i found out that there is a problem in my unordered text file which i changed it to float because i was trying on the float and i have to now change it back to change it back to an um, integer that's why it gave me this big loop okay so go back to that integer and we clear the clear the array and now we will load the load the array from the file okay so I'm all good txt and file with success so we're gonna um, look into the array now look into the things or elements so you can see from the file we have here from the file I have here it reads in 561094 and it actually sorts it out while it was pushing it pushing the integers in and yep so now I'm gonna write it back out to the file so I'm gonna save the array to the text file and and to all the Okay, so it's right into the file. File right success. Check the file. Okay, so here we go. The file with all um the numbers which are sorted and in the right order. Yep. So that's basically my code and free to exit. So yes. Okay. I've about the game. Just give me a sec. I'm gonna fix this. Okay, so it took me like five seconds to fix them because I found out that um while I was um changing the um, else if here I had two trees so it actually won't work and I fixed it. So now if we go manage array and we exit from here it will actually show that I don't have any memory leaks, which is a good news. So now I'm gonna talk about my code. So this is the main app which I was talking about just now and um I this code here just um shows the main menu and you put the three different arrays in and it will show it will bring you to the menu. Okay, so this is the menu.h which includes all my functions for that um, menu page. And so, um, I did it this way that if um, it's a boolean, so if it um, exit equals true, this exit boolean exit equals true, then it exits the code and and it only does the code when the menu menu is equals to false. So if by any chance the user um wanted to exit the the um the program, um they can just click um enter exit and it will return exit equals to and okay. Uh, the menu, and this is the choice, and it goes. If it's one, then it goes into um choose in array functions, and it it um it puts the int array into that function that you can do anything to that array. Like if I put this is the int array function, so it will basically just um add or delete or anything it's in this function for integer array and this is for float array and this is for string array and and if it's for it exits because 
and this is the error message. So this is the choose int array function. So I have my timer here for that timer from the linear and binary search. And yeah. So this is the code like um you can enter the this is changing the array size and set the grow size, push, remove. And this is the binary search and linear search and print here and to load the file and to save the file. This is all um integer array. So and this is all float array. I'm not gonna go through this again. And this is a string array. I tested it and um three of them works well with no problem. And this is the um, show array functions which show um the list because this is showing up um three times for in um float and string so and it's better to put it in the array. And this is my check integer input that it checks if it's um integer then then it returns the number. If it's not then it returns this very long number. And I check if it uh if it returns this number, then it's gonna show um uh, error message, and it's not gonna accept that input. So this is the check float input method. It works the same, just returning a float or the number if it's if it's um valid input. So now I'm gonna move on to the ordered array dot page which is the template file and so here is my template and my default constructor and this is the constructor which allows the user to enter the size have it on my command and the big constructor and this is my resize which um allows the user to resize and yeah the code and set grow size linear search yep I'm gonna talk about this linear search and the binary search so um linear search is just basically go through the whole array one by one until from the beginning and until it finds the um the value in the array which is match which is uh which is matched with this key value and this binary search it goes from the from the upper bound and the lower bound divided by two to get the me me middle um value and then it goes again if it if the value is bigger than the middle el element then it sets the um, lower bound to the middle element so it will just basically cut the array in half and choose to go to left or right I don't know if it's understandable. And so it just repeats this and until it gets, until it gets the middle number, which is, uh, the one that the user wanted and it returns the index of, of the value. And this is the override operator and push, uh, which it, uh, it pushes the element into the um, array. So basically it just uh any data type which is maybe integer, string or float and if there is no elements in the um, array, it just puts um the the item into array at the index of zero and num element plus plus. So there is one element in the array now. So or if and it checks if the array is full. So if it's not, if the number of elements is not equals to m size, which means that there's still space in the array, then it goes and oh yeah, this goes and check if the value in this position, in this index of uh, the array 
is smaller than the item because it goes from the the last item on the array so it goes minus minus so it goes to the front end to find the the one which is smaller than the item that they wanted to put in so if it's smaller which means that that index class one is the place which the item should be so it's a little bit complicated but yep so um yep so if i minus one is smaller than p item then i is the place where p item should be um else it's gonna else it's gonna move them all up and move all the items move all the values in the array um one one index up and when it added the element into the array then number of elements plus plus so it adds one to the number of elements or else this is um if the array is full then it should grow and here it shows that m size plus grow size so M size is the size that the user set, like maybe it's 20, and the grow size is um, 15. So if the array is full, which is 20, then it will grow itself, uh, adding another 15 to the array. And then it resize and push the item again. Hop is easy, it's just um, num, el num elements minus minus, which uh, deletes one element from the array. It actually didn't delete one element from the array. It just shows that there's one less element. So when it goes through the loop, it doesn't go to that part. So if it's eight, it goes only to seven. And remove. It removes, it goes to the array to find the index and remove it. And move all the, move all the elements, move all the other um, index in the array, um, one up. So this is returning the size, this is clear, clear the whole array, so it goes to the loop and it zero. And I created an, an, another one called clear string, which it um, clears, put um, an empty string into the array, because it doesn't take zero. And read another file, so check if the file is open, and uh, while in file it's not end of file, then it puts the in file into number and then it pushes the number into the array yeah. and then close it and write ordered file and it opens the file and if you can't open then there's an error message or if you can't open it then you start writing like it goes through the loop and then it just reads just writes into the file and print is just basically run through the loop and print them all out. Yep, I think that's it for my code and yep, thank you for watching and I hope you like it.